Good morning, everybody. We are here Friday morning. Things are looking very good so far. Glad to have everybody in here. Let's see who we got first. Oh, I already know. Nick F. First in the chat. I saw him this morning. Nick F. Good morning to you, man. Frank, what's going on? Pika Power, Marky, Shreddy, Marky, Pika Power, Keith, Kelly, Crypto Rocketeer. Boom, baby, dabbing on him as always. We've got Shredda, Frank, Shih Tzu, Inu, Crypto Rocketeer, Cassie, Shredda, Alice in Wonderland, Pika Pika, uh, Crypto Rocketeer, Paul, Pugnacious, Justin, Shredda, Paul, Shredda, Justin. Good morning to everybody. Let's check out and see what we got going on in the market today. Looking very good. Devil's Advocate, unskippable ad, you sell out. That's it. I'm unsubscribing. Boom. Thank you for watching that unskippable ad. I appreciate that, man. Actually, I don't even know what unskippable ads pay. I think that unskippable ads pay more than, uh, like, skippable ads, but I have no idea because they're, they're I think the ratio is, like, 17% or 7% unskippable ads or something. Nobody buys unskippable ads, man. Come on, you unskippable ad buyers. Buy more unskippable ads. AMC is hitting at 1541 right now. Guys, AMC, I know Frank wants 1601 today. So let's go 1601 on AMC. Get a nice little run this afternoon. Shiba Inu coin sitting at 2203. Back above that 22. Prog down here in the bottom right. It's weird. I gotta switch it back. Prog sitting at a dollar forty-six. A dollar forty-six. A dollar forty-six right now. Up 12.69% of the day. GameStop sitting at 8909. It was red. Had a bad after hours yesterday. A yeah, decently bad pre-market this morning and then bouncing off as soon as the open comes rolling all the way up to $94 sitting at $89 right now we've got the NASDAQ soaring up 1% right now 13.7 guys this has been a week of fresh air it really has look at this look at the NASDAQ here one two three Four green days in a row, very nice, I am happy with that, amazing, and we are bouncing out of that down that downward wedge, or the, uh, yeah, downtrending wedge, we are above that support level at 13.3, NASDAQ is looking very, very good at this moment in time, with nice four days in a row green, let's keep it rolling, we've got Farmy sitting at 16.80 right now, not bad at all, let's get back into the 20s, Farmy, come on, we've got, what do we got, oh, AMC's up top, we got Sundial sitting up 4.17% today, 52.5 cents, Mullen Auto soaring, and flying. You guys know the song right now. $2.83 if you're in a mall in auto. Very nice. We've got CEI ah, dancing around break even lines, sitting down 3% right now. The spy is sitting around break even as well. And then BBIG up 3.80%. Looking very nice on the day, guys. I like it. I like it. I like it. Let's put GameStop. What do you, you guys want GameStop bottom left or GameStop bottom right? I feel like GameStop bottom right. It just it feels better with GameStop in the bottom right. You know what I mean? It just feels more more natural. It feels more natural to me. Okay. Cool. Ah, okay. So we had a little bit of resistance there at a buck fifty seven. Dude, look at that. Prog touches in that resistance line and bouncing right back down. That's nuts, dude. That's nuts. Come on, Prog. Keep that song going. Soaring and flying. I like it. What's up, Clay? How you doing, bro? Brandon, doing great, man. How you doing today? But uh, you're welcome, Devil's Advocate. Thank you. Might have that dude. That actually, it might have been a whole penny. It might have been a whole penny, Devil's Advocate. I love it, dude. No ads for me. I pay for free YouTube because some people add like six ads to a ten-minute video. I want to watch. Cassie, Cassie, Cassie. Now, a portion of that, like, if you do still watch somebody's videos, so you pay for YouTube, right? Uh, if you pay for ad-free YouTube, I don't exactly know the portion or how it works, but a portion of whatever you pay for your ad-free YouTube still goes to the people you watch. I don't know if it's if you watch more of their videos or, like, however they, they figure that out. So, you're still supporting the people that you like to watch if you are watching their videos even if you're paying YouTube directly for ad free. So, Cassie, feel good about that. I mean, feel good about that. I know, I like when you guys watch ads, right? But at the same time, just skip the ad. Just skip the ad, man. Skip the ad, skip the ad. If it's a five second ad, skip the second ad. That'll help a lot more. But just skip the ad, dude. Nobody wants to sit through an ad. 
and it's, it's still a good deal. JG, it's Monday. Dude, today's not Monday, man. Today's Friday. AMC to 1601, Ford to 1651 at close would be perfect. Or Moaz kickoff. Moaz kickoff might be a little bit better, Frank. Yes, Moaz kickoff would be a little bit better than the 1601 close. But in 1601 and 1651 would be very nice, man. Let's make it happen today. Oh my goodness, AMC short interest over 20% at 109 million shares. Marky Mark. They keep digging, just keep digging, just keep digging that hole. Just keep digging, just keep digging. Digging. Shorts keep digging that hole. To be honest, I'd like to see Ford around 15 so I can pick up a good bit. Justin, I honestly, I don't care. I got some Ford calls, man, so I don't care what it does in the meantime. Uh, 15 back up to, to 50. Let's do that. I don't know if Ford's not at 50. Double that again. Yep, I get the same ad for Coinbase every time. Coinbase, huh? I get a lot of ads for crypto.com. Darn Rev put a sell order at a dollar eighty and got smashed down from dollar seventy eight. No, REVB. Let's see where REVB is at right now. Ah, dude, he puts it at a dollar eighty. He's take profits at a dollar eighty. It taps at dollar seventy eight. Dang, pre market or I don't know if that was post market yesterday. It looks like after market. No, that looks like this morning. Uh, pre market this morning, dollar seventy eight. Pre mar or er, and then right after the the open, dollar seventy eight too. Crypto Racketeer, I hope it bounces back for you, man. I hope it bounces back for you to dollar eighty there. Ah, dude, you, yeah, you got plenty of potential to hit that buck eighty. You got plenty of potential, man. I wouldn't be terribly concerned about that. I mean, you can't be concerned if you want, but you still got plenty of potential to hit that. Where? Ah, uh, I don't want. Nah, I can't move my. I can't move my Weeble. Darn it. All right, we're just going to let it go then. Uh, ad for YouTube is worth it. Yeah, Julia, I mean, I yeah, I don't have ad for YouTube myself, but I would I would say it's worth it because you're still being able to support everybody that you want to support and watch and stuff. The first time I heard of Mon was from a couple of weeks ago when it first popped from, and it's been it was trading at 61 or something, and you said you almost bought it, but you didn't. How frustrated you didn't buy. <laughs> Mitch, not too frustrated, man. I'll, I'll tell you about that in two seconds. I'm on the clock as a moderator. What if this entire chat spiraled? I go into madness while I was watching an unskippable ad. Could be catatrophic. Tropic. Yeah, that could be catatrophic, man. That could definitely be catatrophic. You were on the clock as a moderator. You need to get in here and make sure that the chat isn't spiraling out of control. Indra Nil Sarkar. Indra Nil, yes. Indra Nil Sarkar. Thank you very much. Dude's like, sneak peek, man. Give me a sneak peek. But, you know, we don't have too much going on here. We just got the computer right here. And uh, we got the uh, lava lamp right here, man. Not too much going on there. So, I don't know what other kind of sneak peek you would want, dude. Um... To talk to Mitch, though. So, yeah, I was actually talking to my dad this morning about Maul, and uh, me and Nick F. were mulling it around. <laughs> Dude, I'm such an idiot. Me and Nick F. were mulling it around on whether or not we should buy Maul or a Mullen Auto at, it was 58 cents, 62 cents, right? And it had gone down every single day for, like, the previous four freaking months, and we're sitting here watching it on a daily chart, uh, this day right here, the day prior, is 52 cents. We're looking at, I think this is a Friday. Yep, this day right here. We're looking at it on this day right here. And I'm like, dang, man, this stock's up, I think it was 50, I think it was almost 20%. I'm like, dude, I'm not going to come in here and buy it when it's on a 20% bounce. That's just crazy. Come on, who wants to buy it when it's 20% more expensive than it was yesterday? And it was maybe, uh, it, it, you know, we knew it bounced up a little bit into the 70s, and then it came back down, I think it was sitting at 62, and I'm like, nah, dude, it, it does... <sighs> It taps that resistance level, and it's on its way back down now. Touches 58, and I'm sitting there thinking, dude, no, it's definitely coming back down. Then it bounces back up a little bit. It made the decision not to buy it on this Friday right here. For sure, it's 62 cents. I could have got it. And then look at Monday, man. Monday, it's at two stinking dollars. It's two dollars on Monday. Would have gone out there, quadrupled my money, came back down 
to 80 cents and now it's sitting at three bucks so would i have held it to three bucks where it's at today you know probably not if it if i literally bought it on friday and quadrupled my money almost on monday it would have been hard to hold until today but i do think that it is incredible man that uh it, it's gone that high just in the last like three weeks but am i kicking myself no man i'm not kicking myself couple reasons. One, you know, I, I didn't have a ton of buying power at the time, so it's not like I missed out on a ton, but it is a missed opportunity. And like I was saying yesterday, if you, you can literally kick yourself on every, there's going to be a missed opportunity every single day. And if you don't celebrate the wins, but you kick yourself on every loss, you'll, you'll hate trading. You'll hate doing it. So I'm happy for everybody that is in mall and auto right now. I'm happy for everybody that's making money. Even if, you know, Devil's Advocate, Devil's Advocate made some money yesterday and then got back out at like 230, 236 or whatever, and it's sitting at 279. Devil's Advocate, man, don't kick yourself. I mean, I know you got back into Prague, and Prague's doing extremely well today too. So you can't kick yourself over what could have been. I could have made more money. I could have done this. You'll hate trading, dude. You'll hate trading, and then you'll just want to stop. <laughs> okay, Shiba Inu coin, painting some green lines on the chart there. Changed it to $1.78, so watch it hit $1.76. Crypto Rocketeer, nice, man, nice. Make it $1.74. Good morning, everybody. Frodo, what's going on, man? Click any idea what an embargo being lifted on, what? On a Precludia Journal would have to do with Prague. I'm not familiar with embargoes or how they work legalities, so you're old, so worth a shot in asking. Dude, I'm going to be completely honest. I don't know what Precludia Journal is. I'm going to be completely honest. So I have no idea how that would affect Prague. But trade embargoes are would be similar to sanctions, in my opinion. Let, let's see if we can get a formal definition. Okay. Trade embargo definition. Uh, several types of trade embargo. Trade embargo refers to the banning of exports or imports from one or more countries. So yeah, it could be a sanction. Um, I don't know what Precludia Journal would be though. So if you guys are looking at definitions, it just tells you here that uh, trade embargo definition. Several types of trade embargoes or embargoes. A trade embargo refers to banning exports or imports to or from one or more countries. But yeah, man, as far as what Precludia Journal is, I don't know how that would affect Prague. Right, but why is that bullish for Prague? People seem to be overly hyped about it. Some even go as far as saying Prague's run this morning is because of it, which I don't believe myself. Yeah, I'm not upset. I left a risky play for profits and took them and believe the fundamental is less risky. It was a smart choice. I'm proud. Nice, Devil's Advocate. What is Precludia Journal, though? What, that might help. I have no idea what that is. How do you get out behind the computer? Oh, right there, dude. Right there. I mean, there's like, I don't know, it's probably three feet between the wall and the computer there. It's like three feet. Easy, dude. Easy. I just jump. <laughs> I jump over the computer, man. It does that because the ban on buy stuff might fall. So the new a bank and car just got to get it set up. Kalani, let's get it, man. Kalani, how, how, how could you? How could you? It's all right, man. It's all right. From India, bro. Indra Neil. Thank you very much for that super chat, man. I appreciate you. All the way from India, hanging out in here. Very nice. Uh, yeah, I'm not upset. Saw that. Good, 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 good. Like, uh, Russian products are no, no at the moment. One day, it'll be okay to buy the products again, such as a vodka. Clay, peak of power. Clay makes enough money from everyone else anyway. He doesn't need my measly $2. Kalani, it is true, right? I don't need the $2, but I do really appreciate all of the green names, okay? I, I think it's very cool to have green names in here. So, uh, don't ever feel like you have to have a green name or you have to send a super chat. Or anything like that, guys. Please don't feel that way. But I do, I really do like seeing the green names. 
Hey bro, I wanted to buy some more Shiba, but I'm worried seeing that it's losing a lot of steam. What is going on? The price is going nowhere. AR, you know, you are correct in, in thinking that Shiba is losing a lot of steam. It clearly has lost a lot of steam over the last four or five months. But you have to remember, the entire crypto market has lost a lot of steam as well. Now, here's the... Here's the thing that makes Shiba Inu coin special, and it's simply because it ran up so high, so fast. People remember that. People know what Shiba Inu coin is capable of. If you're looking at Bitcoin versus Shiba, or Ethereum versus Shiba, you know, she, a Bitcoin, it, it doesn't have the possibility of like 10xing in a one week period. It's just like, let's be honest with each other. It's not going to 10x in a one week period. If Shiba gets some hype, Shiba could 10x in a one week period, strictly based on the hype and excitement, not necessarily based on the, the metaverse, or the Shiba Inu go game or things like that. So yes, it has lost some steam from where it was before, but people don't forget that it, it soared so quickly. And if they see it starting to move again, they're going to want to get in. Prague is shorts covering. I, you guys got me, man. It's part of what I'm asking, homie. I don't know what it is. Shoot, darn it. It's Kalani here, right? Makes a lot from my super chest alone. Boom, Pika. Thank you. Wait here. I'll send you a link. DM me or somebody else. Kalani, don't forget green names get crowns. Green names do get crowns. Never mind. I sent a leak, but it reads deeper, and it's trash. Nothing you knew. Devil's Advocate. Devil's Advocate already knows all about Prague. Pika Bauer equals Clay Sugar Mama. <laughs> Sugar. I love sugar mamas too. Pika power. Thank you for being my sugar mama. Hey bro, I was at a gas station getting snacks and a Mountain Dew. Total it was 901. My first thought, how many calls went in the money? <laughs> you gotta pay for those somehow, man. You gotta pay for those somehow. 901 for snacks and a Mountain Dew. Dude, I don't remember the last time I bought snacks at a gas station, but that seems expensive to me. Uh, I figure your Mountain Dew is probably what? 250? Two ninety nine or something? Is that what a Mountain Dew is? And then another six bucks in snacks? Dude's got I know they I know we got checks mix. Man, he might have got beef jerky though. Did you get beef jerky or did you get checks mix, man? Combos. See, checks mix, combos, and beef jerky. But beef jerky's way too expensive these days. So let's just we'll cut that one out. Combos and uh and checks mix. Gas station snacks. Maybe. Maybe. Funyuns, but I'm gonna have to go combos and Chex Mix top two beef jerky honestly is too expensive these days Nobody wants to go out there and spend ten bucks on a, a bag of beef jerky You guys got any like You get any arguments against that combos and Chex Mix being the top gas station snacks? I feel like that's a good one. You guys got to have a go-to gas station snack, and combos and checks mix would be it. There you go. Our name is CGM EMO has happened. Shiba will get a massive boost from the ties between the communities. I, I also agree with that. I officially decided the people that are trying to make sense of an overall market in market run in a specific stock as if they can't be related to one cause and the other. I blame the overall market. Devil's advocate. That is an excellent thing to blame right now. People don't want boring answers. They don't. I, I see it, man. I and especially like looking and trying to uh you know, trying to do a video or something on a, a topic that makes sense. People don't want things to make sense. People want to be excited, people want to be entertained, and people want to be validated. The overall market doing very well right now, man. I mean, we can see it in the NASDAQ. The overall market has had a wonderful week, and it is just breaking out back to the upside of this support line, or well, resistance line it was, and the upper, upward edge of this descending wedge. I mean, the market is doing very well. The market doing well with interest rates not getting out of control, and not, I mean, I, I haven't seen anything crazy on Russia and Ukraine lately, and I still understand it's a bad situation. But I haven't seen anything crazy on it. So that safe money that pulled out of the market over the last couple of months might be starting to pour back in. And that money pouring back in, they see stocks like Prague sitting at, uh, what, what was it this morning, a buck 20? That looks really, really, really cheap, man. And buying, just jumping into Prague. 
safe money starts pouring back in and they're gonna start seeing well amc dude amc is 15 bucks when i got a well, got out of amc it was sitting at 30 bucks of course i'm gonna get into amc at 15 bucks you know they're gonna look at these stocks and see that they're really cheap and they're gonna feel comfortable jumping back into them so devil's advocate man it sounds boring it sounds like something people just want to dismiss but it is an absolute I mean, it's an absolute fact that when safe money pours back into the stock market, they're going to be buying stocks that they find cheap. Is a wrestler... You know what? I wonder... Like, I'm going to look real quick. Because some of these names... I, I just wonder if anybody, like, accidentally got blocked with some of the people that were in here so often but haven't been in here recently. Where do I go? Where do I go? Dwight, man. Thank you very much for the gas money. Dwight, I love it, dude. Again, that's going to fill my Kia Forte up, man. It's going to fill my Kia Forte up to the top, and it's going to be good. I can go, shoot, man. I can go all over town. Dwight, man, thank you very much for the super chat. Absolutely appreciate that. Now the debate begins. Will that $20 fill my Kia Forte up or not? Based on the amount of gas that I have in it right now, because I'm going to be completely honest, I don't know how much money I, I, I it's not going to fill up the whole tank. It's like a probably a 14 gallon tank or something. Um, but I don't know how much gas I have in that right now. So now I'm wondering, WTF, Kia Forte, <laughs> it's just like WTF, Kia Forte. You don't like my Forte, man? What do you like my Forte for? Now I'm just wondering if it's going to fill it all the way up. I think it could. I think it could, dude. I absolutely think it could. Uh, let me go see here. I, I want to make sure that nobody's blocked. Okay, let's look. Twinkies for Twinkies are for kids. That's weird. Dude, it's hilarious. I'm blocked from my own channel. It says Clay Rose blocked. God, there's 238 people blocked right now. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm just trying to look through these real quick, guys. I want to make sure that like wrestler Mr. Normus are not blocked or anything. That they just don't want to be here. Reality, reality Rhino. Should that guy stay blocked? I don't know. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going. Almost there. Almost, almost done looking through. I just want to make sure these guys aren't blocked or anything. No. They're not blocked. They just don't want to be here. Simple as that, my friends. They just don't want to be here. Check in. I saw a mod hiding someone else the other... Well, I think that's the only thing that I can see. I think that it does mean when they're hidden. That that's what I'm looking at. He's a mod. No one can block him but you. Well, then shoot, man. They just don't want to be here. Three ninety nine a gallon last night here in high V fueler saver or fuel saver is great because I got a dollar off a gallon using my points. Nice, Cassie. You better fill your gas your gas cans up too. The sleepy guy won't allow you to fill up for twenty. Uh, yeah, but I, if I got over half a tank, it's good. Hoodro wrestlers in Tennessee. He said he has horrible signal out there. 
Peak of power. How the heck do you know where wrestlers at right now? I don't even know. Doing some brokeback mountain stuff. <laughs> oh, <my> God. <laughs> oh, don't tell him. That one was my doing. I did. I did see that one. There's only a name I recognized on there. Yeah, Iman and Botarji. Let's get that money, Sam Silva. Let's get that money, man. I like it. Como se está Uji? They it just don't like us. Pringleton, it's true, man. They just don't like us, man. Yeah, it's true. He's a mod. So you guys can't even block mods. It sucks to be you. Sean, a whole lot of spammers. They come in once a month, but each time they probably block around 20 to 50 people. Oh my goodness. They're 238 people blocked. No reason. Mm hmm Peak of power. No reason that Peak of Power knows exactly what wrestler's doing right now. Mm-hmm. I see ya. I see ya. We got the NASDAQ sitting 0.92% higher right now. GameStop still doing very well. Prog is up 13%. Farmy, the question is, is it going to break 17? Let's put the line on the chart right now. Let you guys decide that. Is Farmy going to break 17 today? Yes or no? I'm sure there's a decent sell wall sitting at 17, so we'll have to watch that there. Bouncing back down 1688 right now. Hopefully it does get back above that. We've got Sundial sitting at 53.50 right now. 53 and a half cents. Trying to break 54. Sundial moving higher, man. That great afternoon for Sundial there. Look at this. Great day for Sundial, up 6%. Mullen Auto, $2.74, up 12.5% right now. CEI still sitting sideways. SPY still sitting sideways. And BBIG, $2.51. Amazing, guys. Amazing. Today's a good day. Today, This is going to be a very good week. I'm happy with this week. I really am. Mostly use timeouts, let them cool and chance to come back. Pringleton, that's the safe way to play it, man. Good deal. JG, I'll uh, look it up. Thank you. JG. Joe, oh, Julie, Gould. gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I was wondering who JG was earlier. Batman and Pikachu together. Now, that is an unexpected of a duo, as is unexpected of a duo as it is in overpowered. That would be pretty overpowered, man. Batman and Pikachu. Shoot. The only the only thing I, I can think of like that I can think of that would be able to take Batman and Pikachu is probably like a, a Charizard and a Spider Man. That's the only thing that I can come up with that would be able to beat a Pikachu and a and a Batman is a Spider Man and a Charizard. That's it. And I can't believe you guys didn't go along with the the gas station snack thing. You guys didn't even tell me any of your favorite gas station snacks. That was kind of mean. I told you mine. Chex Mix and combos. You guys are sitting there not even telling me about your favorite gas station snacks. It's jacked up, guys. Making bank on Mullen. I got it at 73. I have 3,050 shares. Red line shot. Nah, and you're still in. This dude does have diamond hands, man. How are you still in Mullen Auto and you're, you've been sitting on it and you like quadrupled your money, man? How are you still sitting there and you've quadrupled your money? This dude doesn't even sell. I let, it, Now I'm concerned. You know... Redline Sean has been in AMC this whole time. Now he's in Mall and he's quadrupled his money. I'm concerned this guy actually doesn't know how to click the sell button. Or he might not know where it's at. Um No shame. No shame. Redline Sean, I'm I'm just asking right now, a legitimate question. Do you know how to sell a stock? If you don't, we can discuss it, man. But it, you you are a holder, my friend. I'm waiting on 20. <laughs> this guy's killing me. He's waiting on 20 bucks. <laughs> oh, God. He's going to wait on 20 bucks. Redline shot. So you are just waiting on $20. You actually do know how to sell a stock. You're just waiting on a massive, massive gain. You're just waiting to hit like $60,000 worth of mullen. Market needs just a little upward nudge. Got my cover calls for next Friday, depending. I'm Frank CV. I'm an addict. Nice, man. Too early for a... Yes, it is. Riptide Redemption. Yes, it is. YouTube needs more positivity channels. We do, Dwight. We do. What's up with these, all these naysayers out there? YouTube needs positivity. My favorite channel is a yoga channel. I am planning taking yo uh, taking on yoga soon. Five years later, I am still deciding. <laughs> well, dude, you know what? You guys don't want to see me do yoga. You don't want to see me do yoga. Gas station sushi. That's your favorite one, Julia? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Paul, I uh, love the movie title because of the song. Something. Uh, dude, I need help. Redline Sean. He's going for 60 grand, man. Go big or go home. Redline Sean's just going to be... He might be sitting there for a while, but... 
Dude, 20 might be a stretch. And I know you know that 20 might be a stretch, man. But if we go back out here, we can see that it's not out of the question if it goes on some sort of a massive run. I mean, it was sitting up here at 16 bucks, And, okay, well, it did tap 20 bucks way back here in August of 2020. So, and it, look, if we look at that on a daily chart, okay, okay. Here's what, here's what Redline Sean's thinking here. This is a daily chart, guys. In, on June 12th of 2020, Mullen Auto went from $2 to 5 bucks. I don't know the shares outstanding or anything in these times. The very next day, it opens up at 13 It reaches $13. Then it comes back down, yes, and it spends the next basically month and a half rising, about two months rising, and it does hit 20 bucks. So two months, it goes from two dollars to twenty dollars. Redline shot might not be out of the question, man, but you are you are a holder if you if you hold Mullen from two dollars to twenty dollars. That is going to be phenomenal, man. Well, from seventy three cents to twenty dollars, that would be insane. <clears throat> Let's go back here. Gas station snacks. That's easy, clear, bro. Peanuts, jerky, and of course, a fruity beverage like Mike's hard cider. Nice, Mark. See, I would have gone the jerky route too, but dude, I swear jerky is expensive these days, man. Who wants to pay 10 bucks to 15 bucks for a, a bag of beef jerky? Only thing I sold last year was d and Lucid. Redline Sean is an investor. Yeah, I, I didn't have a ton of sales last year either, man. I don't block experiments. Just time, to, time them out because they're viewers for Clit and they need to create a new account. Yeah, they can't create it. They can't create a new account, man. A lot of people do do that. Julia, if you get gas station sushi outside of Japan, you're disgusting. Well, we know that Devil's Advocate is not going to dinner with, with Julia tonight. Don't ever buy the coffee. Mitch, you don't like the gas station coffee, man? Hello, everyone here listening. Smash that like button. Listen to Danelle. Please click the like. Please do click the like button, guys. I've been told IV gas station sushi is good, but I don't do sushi at all. You know, I'm trying to think. I don't know if I've ever had gas station sushi. I, I honestly don't know if I've ever had it. Um, I imagine, guys, it's not any different than like a, a grocery store's sushi, okay? If you're going to go into the grocery store and get some sushi either, it's all coming from the same place. So it's probably good. But I honestly, I don't think I've ever had any. I was trying to think, but no. Tired of so much mystery. What is going on with the with what Twit yesterday was saying? Are we one step closer to changing the world? Uh AR. Who on Twitter said that? Uh the SHIB token Twitter, is that what you're referring to? What is Coinbase One? Coinbase One, man. I, I don't know what Coinbase One is. I can do it. Little hot pickled sausages. There you go, man. Okay. Gas station snack. Little hot pickled sausages. There you go. Tacos are always the best at the gas station. Old clubs. Okay, there you go. Not thank you guys for entertaining my question there. How many of you CK the dates on your gas station food snacks? I dude, I don't ever look I don't care, man. I don't care if it's a grocery. I never look at dates on anything. Even if I know it's been in my fridge for a year, I still don't look at the gate dates on anything. I got 7-Eleven pepperoni pizza not too long ago. Frodo, there you go, man. Johnny Munoz Mullen is soaring, flying. It is. And Prague is back up to $1.50 right now. Looking very good there. Mullen Auto, guys, $2.76. I saw some guys on Twitter selling selling calls at $2.50 yesterday. So I uh, I hope they're doing okay today. They, they took in $4,000 premium. Selling some calls on on Mullen at two fifty, so I'm I'm hoping they're cool. Sushi is sushi, surely. Yes, it is, man. Quick Trip has a super good coffee. Gas station sushi in Japan is a ten out of ten. Like real talk, their garbage sushi is better than our grade A sushi. Dang, man. But you've actually been to Japan, right? I've never been to Japan. I do like sushi though, Julia. I wouldn't eat anything raw from a gas station. That might be good advice to live by, actually. I think we I think we could all come to terms 
that uh, that Dwight's got some good advice there. Just follow that advice. You know, don't eat anything raw from a gas station. You're probably good. Forgot my headphones today, so hopping in for a few minutes. Hope everyone's good. AMC still no squeeze, but tomorrow, correct? Yes, AMC is going to squeeze tomorrow. Sushi is nasty, but so is a Mickey I'm eating now, so it's all good. Yeah, dude, I really don't like McDonald's either. I really don't like McDonald's either, but I'll eat it every once in a while. If my mom goes to McDonald's and she wants me to hang out and go to the zoo with her, like the last time that I had at McDonald's. So don't mind it. I don't mind it. But I do like sushi. Sushi's not nasty. I checked the expiry date on my AMC. It said tomorrow. Pringleton, let's get it, man. AMC is going to squeeze tomorrow. You guys can quote me on that. You can go send me out to Reddit and Twitter and all those places. AMC will squeeze tomorrow. Chris, the red thing. You guys are ridiculous, man. I love it. I do because they are bad about having still zingers these days. I have to check. It's not past the date and gross and dried out. <laughs> are awesome uh yes i lived in japan for six months deployment dang man and he got he got to experience oh but i i asked you before if you speak any japanese and you said arigato that was all you said right konnichiwa my friend the ghost in you she don't fade she never fades lewis made some moolah on that ape coin bought it eight sold it 15 i wonder if i did good if i should have waited i don't know much about it lewis man i don't know much about it either you did good, man. You did good, okay? You basically doubled your money. There's no shame in doubling your money. Even if it goes above 15 bucks, man. You, you know, even if it goes back above 15, don't kick yourself, dude. Don't kick yourself. You made some serious money, and uh, I'd be proud of that, dude. I'd be proud of that. This morning, it was sitting at 1775 it's a risky play, dude. This coin comes out of nowhere, and I understand that Board Ape Yacht Club has some serious market cap with those NFTs, but this coin coming out of nowhere being worth $4 billion, and once it's fully diluted, $13 billion, a top 10 coin, that is it's difficult to believe, man. Difficult to believe. Um, the crazy thing is that I can't get over is that these guys are sitting on the anybody that bought a board ape yacht club nft is sitting on ten thousand coins man they've got a hundred and thirty thousand dollars in coins right now for just for having a board ape yacht club so that is nuts that is nuts if you got a board ape you got ten thousand ninety four coins man i don't know what the kennel club is but 10,950 mutant ape, even mutant apes, one fifth of $150,000. You sit on 30 grand if you've got a mutant ape thing out there. How much are mutant apes? Oh, man. I don't know how much they are. Hey, Frodo, do you know how, like, what, do you know what the floor is on a mutant ape right now? Frodo might know what a mutant ape versus a, a bored ape is. Floor on both of those. Clint, you have to admit McDonald's fries. Really, no, I like the fries, but like if, if you go, if I'm going to eat a sandwich or something there, I can really only eat one, and then I, I do start to feel a little bit weird after eating one of the sandwich. Like if I'm going to eat two Mc, uh, McChickens or I'm going to eat two double cheeseburgers or whatever they are, eh, it doesn't it doesn't go over very well. But, dude, the fries are good, but you can't. Like, What are you going to do, man? only eat fries you're not even it's you don't even feel hungry at, or you don't even feel full afterwards uh, mcdonald's breakfast is great only thing i miss about it what do you mean you miss about it they don't have breakfast anymore you can go get some breakfast fries and shamrock shake is all i miss about not eating mcdonald's anymore perkins bit breakfast of champions i don't know if i've ever been to a perkins maybe one time i feel good now that you say it my bro but it feels like a potential rug pull he, Lewis, man, it might... Uh, listen, I don't know if it's going to be a rug pull. If it truly is from these guys that do Board Ape Yacht Club, there seems to be a, just a, a nutcase community paying ridiculous prices for these... Uh, for these NFTs. So uh, it can sustain these prices, but it, it's, v it's very weird to see a coin come out with a $10 billion valuation, man. 
<laughs> Ann Perkins. Ann Perkins is the best friend ever. Yep, Leslie Nope's best friend. I'm eating slightly healthier with a chicken sandwich and fish flag. Good deal, man. Refills. McDonald's gives you free fr No way. Shredda, you're making that stuff up, dude. You're trying to play us all. You're trying to play us all. No way McDonald's gives you free refills. Uh, Mutant Ape Yacht Club floor is 20 Ethereum. Board Ape is 93 Ethereum. Oh, dear God. What is the price on that? Three grand. Jeez. Dude. If it's three grand at 20 Ethereum, that's 60 grand, and you just got $30,000 in coins. Dude, they just gave you half the price, man. 90 Ethereum. Two hundred seventy thousand, dude. They almost paid for your board ape yacht club too. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my goodness. Quit. Yesterday was lowest AMC daily volume in over a year and closed only slightly lower than the day prior. Anything we can take away from that? Thanks, man. So yes, and thank you very much for the super chat. Um, a couple things that I do want to say about volume. I appreciate low volume in a squeeze play scenario. I want lower volume. A lot of people always think that low volume means a lower price and high volume means a higher price. It just simply means they, that there weren't that many shares traded that day. There weren't many buying sell transactions going on and it, it's just it could mean that more people are willing to hold and less people are willing to, to buy at that point in time. If you've got holders but you don't have the buyers, Price stays relatively the same. And that's what we saw yesterday. Lower volume and a sustained price. So let's see where we were. Yesterday's volume around... Oh, where's it at? 20 million shares. With yesterday's volume around 20 million shares, yes, that is low. And the price did, still did very well, holding itself up. 20 million... I would, I would actually like to see volume sitting around 10 million. If we had volume averaged out to be 10 million shares traded per day, that would give us days to cover of, of about 10 to 11 days. 10 to 11 days to cover is very high. I think that would be extremely beneficial for the short squeeze. We can absolutely maintain prices on lower volume. And you can have high volume days where you don't see a huge increase in price. This day right here, 124 million shares traded and the price is coming down. Think about that. Yes, it did gap up here, but 124 million shares traded and it trades lower on the day. Simply means more people were willing to sell than were willing to buy and the price is coming down there. So, you know, just associate volume with the amount of people buying and selling. Don't associate a low volume with a low price and a high volume with a high price. I would like to see sustained low volume to increase days to cover. So, very good question, man. Very good question. Hopefully, what you can take away from that is you don't have to worry about low volume. Bro, I got into ApeCoin yesterday just to see where it goes. Coinbase warns you it's a very risky investment, but I'm 3x right now, but we'll see how long that lasts. <laughs> you guys 3xing in a day, man. I love it. I don't know how Coinbase picked that up so fast. Coinbase, you know, they, they, they don't list all of the, the coins as they come out, but that is very nice, Pika Power. Tripling your money on ApeCoin. I agree, okay? We'll see how long that lasts. ApeCoin could absolutely come back down. Hey, man, if you would have told me that Board Ape Yacht Clubs were going to have a 90 Ethereum floor, I would have said, yeah, we'll see how long that lasts. But it's lasting quite some time now. So definitely, it definitely can blow your mind with what these coins can do. And if these people appreciate ApeCoin the same way that they appreciate these Board Ape Yacht Clubs, yeah, I mean, you're going to make money on it. You're gonna make, you, dude. This stupid coin could be at a hundred bucks in the next four or five months. I, it, it just, I wouldn't be caught off guard if it was. She be you new to Pluto, new foe. My prop calls are worthless. No, Mitch. Nobody likes worthless calls. But, well, did you buy it for today's expiration? 
Tomorrow I'll squeeze. Yes, Victor. AMC is going to squeeze tomorrow. Hey, awesome seeing you on again. I love your energy. Wanted to pick your brain on ApeCoin and uh, Ardana, upcoming ISPO, if you're willing to, of course. But how do I become a bro? Thank you for all you do. So, Mr. Argre Agress, man. If you want a green name and you've got an iPhone, you have to copy and paste a link in the description out into Safari and grab that green name. If you just want to be a bro, dude, subscribe to the channel. You're all good on that one. ApeCoin, that's what we were talking about right now. I do think it is a little bit dangerous to buy a, a an IPO and see what these coins are doing until they start to, to settle down a little bit. But, dude, to have a coin launch at a $3 billion valuation, uh, it's it, that is crazy. But all of those Bored Ape Yacht Clubs and Mutant, Mutant Ape Yacht Clubs are... Or they're nuts. I mean, a 90 Ethereum floor is crazy for, for a picture. But now that picture came with $200,000 worth of coins. So is it just a picture that you're buying? It just came with a $200,000 paycheck. Gosh, that's a lot of money to buy. for. That's a lot of money to get dropped to you for an NFT. Um, It's insane, man. It's insane. So... I think that it could sustain those prices and it could do very well. Coinbase listed because Board API Club peeps paid a lot of money for them to list their coins. Okay. See, Frodo, this I did not know, man. These these Board API Clubs, they, they must be generating a ton of money. Man. It's awesome. Alice, I put in about $150. Maybe, or maybe it'll be unexpected and I'll have a little extra money to invest in other projects. Nice peak of power. Moan hit $3. Did Moan hit $3 right now? Golly, bump. yes it did, man. Mullen Auto just hit three dollars per per share, and it's bouncing back a little bit. Might find some resistance in that area. Oh man, today's a good day. Look at this, Mullen Auto hitting three dollars a share right now, up twenty percent. Prog a dollar fifty one, up seventeen percent right now. Farmy seventeen twenty five, up nine percent. AMC, it's it's in the green, guys. It's two percent in the green, fifteen fifty right now. We've got Sundial getting ready to tap 54 cents again. Green, 6%. Mullen Auto, we see it up there, man. $2.93. The Spy up 0.36. And BBIG, 244 right now. NASDAQ, 13.7. It, it, it's a good day. It's a good day today. I love the green, man. I love the green. Man, I can't believe that Mullen Auto hit $3. And in just a couple of days ago, it was at 60 cents. My gosh. NFTs are fairly new. It may go way high or way low. Yeah, that's the crazy thing about brand new things, brand new investments. You know, you have no idea what's going to happen with it. If you're willing to take the risk, you can absolutely reap the rewards. And it does seem like people are just, why why that project? You know what I mean? Why that project? Why did Board Ape Yacht Clubs take off and, and sustain a $300,000 floor? Why? Why them? Can't pay attention to Mullen. Uh, they have no revenue, have delivered no cars, and was brought forward as a distraction to AMC. It will dial back soon. So, Johnston Town, it could dial back soon, man. It could. But it's crazy to watch a stock go from 15 bucks down to about nothing. And it is following this downtrend here, right? That's the line we got. It is following that overall downtrend. But it's bouncing off of it nicely, man. And it's coming up on this resist. It is hitting this resistance level here at three bucks. If it breaks it, I mean, do we hit five? You know, if you're looking at a technical analysis, if you're looking at technical levels of support and resistance, you're going to have a little bit more at 370. But do you hit five? I mean, it, it's, a, it's a possibility to hit five from where we're at right now. Redline Sean makes me nervous, though. Redline Sean, are you. And answer honestly, if. If you don't know, just say you don't know. But do you plan on putting a stop loss on there at all to protect your profits? Because you're doing excellent, man. You're doing excellent. Forexing your money right now. You're killing it, dude. I just want to know if you're going to protect your profits at all so I don't have to worry about you at night. Think about this, Clay. Every time one of those... Is that Board API Clubs? NFTs get sold. The project creators get probably... Around Dude, they have taxes on NFT sales too. They get like tokenomic taxes on these NFT sales. Oh my gosh. Frodo, you're making me sick, dude. You're making me sick. 
They get taxes on NFT sales that go to the developer's wallet. Oh, man. <laughs> we, we need to create... We need to create some some NFTs in here, man. We should make an NFT level membership. Like if you guys want a green name, you guys get a, you guys get an NFT launch and uh we need to we need to do something like this. Oh my goodness, man. Oh my goodness. We need to get, we need to start getting serious about this. Board ABI club. Even if man, even if we're bringing in 7% of of a thousand dollars in transactions a day, Frodo, you're still making some good money there, man. My gosh. Okay, Redline Sean, uh, I'll sell if it pulls back more than twenty percent. Boom, Redline Sean. Now nah, I'm not as nervous, dude. Now nah, I'm not as nervous because <laughs> you're making some good money there. CJ, I'm happily married. Pika is my online crush, so stay away, bro. Stay away. You guys are. You, because everybody's online crush right now. Up 280% of my mullen, a distraction or not, I'll take my profits. Heck yeah, man. 280% is 280%. Still hoping the mullen at 225% plus, no stop loss. Still, God, this guy's got Josh's no stop. You guys make me nervous. You guys do pretend. Listen, if you're up 225% right now, put a stop loss on it, break even. Okay? That's a that's a crazy, that's a crazy loose stop loss. But I don't want to see you guys lose money. 225% profit is nuts. Celebrity bag. Lewis, it could be, but I wonder if the celebrities got in because it was already doing well. Like, that's my thing. Was just joining to speak about ApeCoin. I think people are not desperately looking for somewhere to make money. ApeCoin, another ship I expect will be loads of people buying and holding for ages. Hoping it will go back. I hate apples. That is a possibility. Okay. Um, ApeCoin, really a lot of people talking about it right now. It, it's definitely got its, uh, it's got its flavor out there with everybody wanting to jump in on it and, and ride it right now. So it is a definite possibility that it does come back down, but it's got that, that Board Ape Yacht Club backing that it, it's already got that reputation. And I think that's why it's doing so well. NFT ideas, AMC till I die or or they do. Yes, AMC till I die or they do. I hate apples. That's that seems to be a lot of people's mentality. Did you guys see uh, Jim Cramer's tweet this morning making fun of apes? Josh has no stop loss. Shh, your mouth. <laughs> Josh, you're killing me, man. You're killing me. This dude says no stop loss. I uh, take it all. Take like it all. I lose it all. Trapper's my online crush. I like the man. Like him. I like my coffee. But I mean, I actually I prefer black coffee. It's just no doubt about it. I can't do a cream. And if I do cream, it's very embarrassing. If I put a lot of cream in my coffee, I'm gonna have to go to the bathroom. What are you, what are you gonna do about that, man? Black coffee. That's the way I like it. Uh, where's my bag, Dwight? I don't know where the bag is, man. We gotta find it. If I bought at 73, I say screw the stop. If he bought at 73, I say screw the stop loss. Crypto Rocketeer. Yeah, but I do want him to make some money somewhere, right? I don't want him to give up. A, a, I don't want it to fall back down to 73 and have him not take any profit at all. Hoy, NFT space is crazy right now. Only get bigger. A friend and I are looking into creating an NFT to fund a film. Yeah, you, yeah, you were saying that. Uh, that's why I am researching the NFT space bigly. Yeah, Frodo, so you were saying that. I, I do hope that project turns out really well for you guys. Uh, small little film you said, right? You had a small part in it, actually. Have you ever looked at Wolf? I looked at it and bought the dip yesterday. I'm thinking I'd ride it to eight, a uh, cool eight dollars. Dirtbag. So I've not seen Wolf, man. Is that another token? Sam, how do you know Trapper is really like your coffee? <laughs> true, man. True. I never see a stop loss when I. I never see a stop loss when I buy. Set. You never set a stop loss, or you never see a stop loss. Drink my coffee. Yeah, Frodo, I I don't mind cream. Like, I don't mind the taste of it. I actually like the taste of, of putting cream in coffee. I don't mind that at all. But, nah, dude. I would say nine times out of ten, it's a bad idea. Black coffee's so bitter. Yeah, I don't think it's that bad. Like, I don't mind the cream. I think it's just kind of useless to put sugar in it, though. Um, But, nah, dude, it, it, does, it just doesn't work out for me. If you guys can drink it with cream, drink it with cream, but... Doesn't work out for me. I'd rather drink it coffee with cream. Yeah, I'd rather drink it without cream. Just so I don't have to go to the bathroom. And Alice is like black coffee. No way, because both black crypto here. That that would be why. 
Yes, short film. I was in it. Uh, that was already made. This is for the next project. Oh, okay. So the next one. This is. For, I thought it was for that film, Frodo. I made an NFT, sold it to myself for two Ethereum, and sold it for one Ethereum. Uh, someone thought they got a discount. <laughs> Ko bets, man. Nice, nice. That's the way to do it. Ko bets. That's the way to do it. I drink black, black, black coffee with no sugar. Trapper is a, a sweet guy. There you go, man. There you go. Yeah, black coffee. I just, I honestly, it's just like coffee. It's just coffee. Just coffee with nothing in it is what I would prefer to drink. I, I don't know. It's the best way to, best way to go about it for me at least. Uh, my man, Chris DD two fourteen, but he is MIA DD two fourteen. Where are you? Are you listening right now? There's a stand in my notebook where your coffee cup was. Julia, I didn't leave my coffee cup at your house. I didn't do it. Things are looking spicy today. Things are looking very good today, man. I, I do have to agree with you. Mullen Auto sitting at 305 right now. Soaring. Flying. You guys are making money in Mullen Auto. How many of you guys actually have Mullen? I know a lot of people in here talking about it, but how many of you actually have it? Oh, I'm not even in my stream right now. Let me go over here to stream. Yeah, how many of you guys have Mullen, Mullen, or Mullen? Because you guys are doing very well right now on that one. I like my coffee with, I hate these posts. These I hate these polls, I can't see anything. Little sugar in the black coffee when I'm feeling a bit loco. Dirtbag, nice man. Fun fact, a lot of health benefits of drinking black coffee it go away when you add things to it. Well, I don't know what the health benefits of coffee are, but yeah, I, I don't know. Sugar probably make it taste a little better, but Sugar's not the sugar's not the best for you. Dwight, man, thank you for the super chat. What is this guy doing? What is this guy doing? Mm, mm, mm. Ring ding ding, 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 ring ding ding. Thank you very much, Dwight, for the ring ding ding, ring ding ding, ring ding ding. Super sticker, man. Appreciate that one. That is, I, I looked at him for a second. And that's the only thing that I can think that that guy right there was doing. And uh, I hope I got that one on because uh, I know that was a little far-fetched. But that's all I could come up with, Dwight. Thank you very much for the super sticker. That is exactly what that guy is doing right there. Appreciate you, man. No stop loss. Josh still says no stop loss. Not getting that stop loss. Never heard of Mullen. <laughs> Did you have heard of Mullen, man? Who doesn't have Mullen in here? Come on, bro. Let's buy a little. Mitch, I, I don't have any Mullen, man. I don't have any Mullen. Got Mullen at a dollar two. Boom. Keith ripping it, man. Keith tripled his money on it. I like it. Set it against it. Was gonna go. It was going to buy when Trey did a when Trey did a steam about it and said he wasn't going to buy personally. I was certain he would regret it. And so now do I. Or so do I now. Uh yeah, man. Yeah, I didn't know, uh, like you guys know, you, you guys were in the stream when I was talking about it, and I, I said that I actively made the decision not to get it at 62 cents. Clearly, that turned out to be a bad move, but sitting at three bucks right now, uh, let's see, 27 votes. Do you guys have Mullen or not? The majority do not, so you guys, okay. Very good. You guys are the ones that 25% or 24% that do have Mullen Auto are doing very well on it right now. Uh, I regret picking that one. <laughs> oh, I let you down, man. Now I feel bad. I feel bad that I let you down, Dwight. Sorry, man. Sorry. All right, let's see. I'm going to get this one. I got to take this poll off, dude. I got to take this poll off. I can't see anything when I do these polls. I can't see anything until it flies away. I made three different 10% trades on Mullen. I don't plan on getting back in, but we shall see. I don't want to test my luck after three successes in a row on the same run. Nice. Devil's Advocate. Three 30% or three 10% gains, man. You can't beat that. Kisses for Pika and one for Clet. <laughs> Lewis, man, I'll take it. Three for Pika and one for Clay. Thank you very much for the super chat, Lewis. Appreciate that, man. And uh, I was actually I was more for more for Pika than it was for me there. So Pika, that one's for you. 
It was about 60. Yeah, Crypto Racketeer. That's exactly where it was when I was looking at it, man. Was was 62 cents. It was bouncing back and forth between 62 and 58. Now I need coffee, Julia. I actually had some coffee this morning, so I'm thinking about. I, I don't. I don't think I need any more coffee. But Josh, did you get on leverage? If so, what? Oh my gosh, Josh, are you on leverage on on Molnar or what? Or just as worthy as Tesla electric vehicle in the future? Possibly, man. I don't exactly know what they've got going on. I've seen their website, but I don't know much about their sales or anything like that. Clay, I put Mullen on my a watch list when you talk about it at a buck fifty. Clowny, did you ever get it or you didn't? You just had it on your watch list. You're the reason I bought it. You were talking about it, and I was like, screw it, I'm in. Red line shot. It's working out very nice for you right now. Here's the deal, though, man. <laughs> just remember that I was talking about a stop loss. Protect your profits if it comes back down. It is a risky stock, but it seems to be doing extremely well today. Sitting at $3.09, guys. $3.09. It is not stopping today. Man, it is just ripping higher. You guys, you guys are doing very well making some money on that. I love it. We've got the NASDAQ doing well today, up 1.29%. Farm is still up at 17.26, up 9%. AMC doing well, sitting at two dollar or 2.30% higher. 15.50 is the price. Prague still at $1.51, up 16% on the day. Sundial, 53.30, still up about 6% on the day. Uh, Mullen sitting there at $3.10. Beautiful runner. We've got the SPY sitting at $4.41 right now, basically 0.40% higher, and BBIG up 5% on the day right now. Man, I love I love it when it's green. I love it when it's green. We've only had one, we've only had like three days in a row where it's been green and it's a beautiful three days guys no sir and no regrets well good deal clowny good deal man that's the way you gotta live it, you know because there's gonna be plays you can miss out on every time i guarantee there's there's better plays right now than mullen auto there are probably stocks out there that are higher than 27 percent today so you can kick yourself every day of the week if you want you, you can't do it though you can't do it so clowny i like it man no regrets Clearly, I would have liked to have been in, in Mullen right now, and I would have liked to have been up, you know, 5x, but it's just, it's not what it is. Who says men can only do one thing at a time? I've cooked, fixed the washing, and fixed the dishes during the stream. Boom. Crypto Racketeer. Shoot, man, I'm not saying men can only do one thing at a time. You just did like five things at a time. So anyway, doing B-Rise, they had a new bridge thing recently. Sorry, I'm new to all this stuff. I am glad I found this place. So Mel Camino, I do not have any BitGirt or B-Rise, whatever you want to call it. I don't know if anybody else in here does. I, I did a video on it a couple days ago, but I don't own any. It's got to be making the Mullen Shorts. Dude, I would imagine it is. Um... The, the the crazy thing is, I saw some dudes on Twitter yesterday that were selling calls at 250 because it bounced back a little bit, and uh, yeah, they're they're definitely getting ripped today on those. No regrets, I meant regrets. Yeah, no regrets. That should be the tattoo you guys get. Pika, I won't tell her. So shh, yes, I don't stop loss. I'm more like a go loss. Brett, man. You got to stop your loss at some point. No regrets, baby. That's how I feel about stop losses. Like, yeah, I could have always gotten out at a better spot, but it goes both ways like me. Oh, my God. Could have lost way more, too. Stay up and stay in the market. Stay up and stay in the market. If you guys are here tomorrow, you are winning. If you make it back tomorrow, you are winning. You can still get in. What's $10? Yeah, what is $10, man? No, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to get in with just ten dollars on Mullen, but three dollars and fifteen cent, three dollars and seventeen cents right now, up thirty percent on the day. It is going on a run, ladies and gentlemen. Four million shares traded in this one minute period. One point six, one point six, one point seven, one point five, one point six, one point five, one two point two, two point zero, two point zero to one point six. Man, a lot of shares being traded right now. Molinado getting a lot of attention, looking very good. We've got Prague doing very nicely at a dollar fifty and a half, up seventeen sixteen percent of the day. Farmy sitting at seventeen twenty seven right now. Yeah, this is this is a very good day overall, guys. 
Very good day overall. We'll watch Mullen run here, sitting at $3.17 down there at the bottom left. Got five tabs open working on my laptop as I watch this on my phone. Cassie, glad to have you in here multitasking and still being able to type in the chat and pay attention. Crypto you the man. Yes, he is. Are the shorts going to get margin called on Mullen? Seriously. So, Mitch, I don't know. I honestly, I don't know any of the short interest. I don't know any of the numbers on Mullen Auto. I just know that people are excited about it and buying it up. I don't know what the short interest is. I don't know what the cost to borrow is. I don't know what the utilization is. I don't know what those numbers are. So I have no idea if they would be close to getting margin called or not, man. But if their shorts are at like, you know, 50 cents or a dollar, yeah, they, they got to be in a pretty bad spot right now. What did the crypto market cap in 20... Ooh, King Toad, man. That's a good question. If in... You know, you could probably look at several different ways and, and try and figure out how to um, how to calculate that and, and stuff. But if, gosh, what did they say the metaverse space was going to be? Okay, so roughly a trillion. They expect in the next five years for the metaverse space to be about a trillion dollars. Dude, that's all digital. So add that into cryptocurrencies. Add cryptos at roughly at the same pace that they're growing now, if not in exponentially increasing pace. Dude, you're saying the crypto market could be an easy uh, 10 to $20 trillion market cap by 2030. I mean, that, and that's just based on recent growth and metaverse growth and people adopting crypto. That's not if we get some huge breakthroughs or countries across the globe start going digital. Like, it could be even bigger than that. But that's just based on, I, I would say, recent growth and expected growth in the metaverse industry. Peak of power! Thank you very much for the super sticker. Thank you very much, Peak of Power, for the super sticker. I know you guys love that cat right there. By far, one of the weirdest ones. So thank you very much, Pika. I don't do charts like I do stop losses. Well, you don't do charts or stop. This dude just goes in. This dude's either flipping a coin or he's just buying a buying a stock as it's moving. Josh, how do you find the stocks that you want, man? I don't talk much because I always are working, which means I'm driving, but I'm here every day. Keith, I love it, dude. I love it. I know there's a lot of people in here that don't typically type. Uh-oh. AMC and GameStop both moving a little higher here. Getting some life in their in their charts. We've got AMC sitting at 1570 and GameStop sitting at 9170 right now. Mullen is pulling back a little bit from the $3.20 high. It's sitting at $3.11. But we've got some nice green candles coming here both in GameStop and in AMC. Let's see if they can bust their way out of the charts as we're ending the stream here. It creeps me out. Josh, the charts creep you out or what? The cat creeps you out. If meta becomes bigger than crypto, uh, yeah, if meta becomes big, crypto will be huge. Yeah, it's got only one way to follow, man, because metaverse space is going to be using uh, digital assets. So you're right. If it does become huge, crypto will, will definitely follow along. All that digital stuff takes earth materials. Uh, yeah, Shredda. So as far as like, you know, mining it and doing all this proof of work, it, it does take earth, earthly materials in that sense. Are you talking about something else though? Or am I, am I on with the, the fact like the proof of work and, and things to generate the wealth here? I also don't typically talk much, but I'm watching. Don't worry, everyone. Yes, Devil's Advocate is never very active in here. That is right. I only type if I hear my name. Diddy214. Well, you heard your name earlier. You heard your name earlier when somebody said they got a crush on you, right? How do I find short interest, morning dips, low floaters, no regrets? 
How do I find? Short. Okay, so that's how you find your stocks. Short interest, morning dips, low floaters, and no regrets. <laughs> Good deal, Josh. Good deal. Hilarious how many stocks have gone from red to green. Obviously, they are all selling and FOMOing into Mullen. <sighs> well, I do believe that they are jumping into Mullen, right? I do believe a lot of traders jumped into Mullen today. And they probably, there's probably a good deal of them that jumped in here as it broke this intraday level of resistance at not 297. And then that three buck range, I do think a lot of people would have jumped in there. And dude, the day traders, man, they jumped in. They read it, they wrote it from 305, $3 to, to $3.15, $3.20. And they made their 5% move and then they're out. And then it starts to pull back a little bit. And then if it dips back down to here, it might bounce off and you might see people jump back in again and keep day trading that stock. But look at this, man. You know, AMC is doing excellent right now, sitting up 3% of the day. Shiba Inu coin, beautiful bottom left to upper right chart. We've got GameStop stringing like 10 green lines in a row together. We've got Mullen Auto sitting up nearly 30% on the day. We've got the NASDAQ up to 13,800 points. It's up 1.30%. Prog is sitting at $1.52 right now, up almost 17%. Farmy sitting at $17.26, up 9% on the day. Uh, Sundial, $53.60, up 6, almost 7%. You know, it's a very, very nice day. Let's see, even that, I'm sure that gold mine company is probably still in the green. Uh, HY, no, not that one. We want HYMC. Okay, no, the gold mine company is actually in the red. Never mind on that one. Uh, when is the Shiba Inu game being released, which will allow is to burn? So no, King Toad, they're not going to burn with the Shiba Inu game, but it is slated to be released, I believe like July, August time of 2022, towards the end of, of mid to end 2022. Dwight, man, thank you very much for the super chat. Dwight says, burn, ship, ship. Oops, wrong channel. <laughs> Oh, gosh, Dwight, thank you very much for the Super Chat. And yes, I, I don't burn Super Chats. I don't turn I, I don't turn the Shiba Inu coin or the Super Chats into Shiba Inu coin and then burn them. That would be the wrong. There are plenty of channels that do do that. Yes, I'm sorry. That is uh, that, that would be the wrong channel. But Dwight, man, thank you very much. Absolutely appreciate that Super Chat, man. Oh, today's a good day, guys. Today is a very good day. And Dwight, man, appreciate all the Super Chats today. You've been sending a lot of them. Of course, there's still green stocks. More small stocks. And with possible squeezes, I meant, Clay. Gotcha, crypto. Uh, isn't it really sick these people stock in crypto gains whilst people continue to die at the hands of a maniac? Uh, yeah, I hate apples. Uh, there's always going to be bad stuff going on, though. It doesn't. It shouldn't deter anybody from you know making money in the market and having a a good day because if you want to worry about something you can always find something to bring you down uh lung punch is feeling like a monkey business lung punch man that sounds da dangerous yorkie inu thank you very much for the super chat yorkie inu Oh, man. Trey had mentioned Mullen when it was 50 to 60 cents. I was thinking of getting in then, but didn't pull the trigger. Would have 4 to 5x my money. No regrets, though. Every day, there are good opportunities. Frodo, absolutely, man. Absolutely. There's always going to be another opportunity. And you know what? Even if you would have held this long, even if you truly believe you would have redlined shawned it, and you would have been holding from 50 cents to $3, and it's still going up, man. Still going up. Malt sitting back at 320 right now. Rolling higher. Click. It's time, bro. It is time, man. It is time. I'm just so excited I'm still sitting here. But it is time, guys. We're going to take a little break, and we will be back later. Uh, I need some pom-poms. I know, Yorkie Inu. I don't have any of those here, though. I do. Hey, bro. He is taking an eye for NFTs and is a film enthusiast. Today's crown easily goes to... God, I, dude, Pika Power really getting to know everybody in here. I love it, man. Uh, easily goes to Frodo Baggins, or is it a ring? I can't remember. All I know is it goes, it's a long way to Mordor. <laughs> Fika Power, 
Thank you very much for crowning Frodo today. And to that mindset, I'd like to say hunger is very real thing, and I do not starve myself because of it. Exactly, man. Exactly. You know, you guys got to remember over time again, over time again. Crypto Rocketeer, you better time yourself out, man. Dwight, thank you very much for the... <laughs> Thank you for the rocket. <laughs> Thank you for the rocket. We got one more, man. We got one more. <laughs> Thank you for the rocket. Dwight, man. I am a little dizzy after doing that. Thank you for the super sticker, Dwight. Guys, it is time to go. Dwight, you're absolutely amazing, man. That is a very good super sticker right there. Appreciate that one. It does make me a little dizzy, and uh, hopefully you guys didn't get too creeped out by that one because I had a lot of fun doing that. Dwight is absolutely killing it today. Guys, we will be back this afternoon. I want to say thanks for having such a great morning with us, keeping it positive. Everybody making money out there. Continue to make money as we leave and as we come back. We're going to be just as happy. AMC is going to be green. Mullen's going to be green. GameStop's going to be green. Farmy's going to be green. Sundial, Prog, all these stocks are going to be green. When we come back, Shiba Inu coin going to be doing very well. And uh, let's get some shout outs going on. And then you guys know the drill. We'll be back a little bit later. Crypto Rocketeer. Boom, baby, dabbing on them as always. We got Julia Pringleton, DD214, Yorkie Inu, Pika Power, Clay Brothers, Super Chats give us overtime. They do, actually. They do. Super Chats give you guys overtime. Snake Fox, you drunk? Nope, nope, nope. Never been drunk in my entire life. Mitch, see you later, man. Frank, Keith, Frodo, love me some free popcorn. Everybody loves free popcorn. Mitch, Lewis, Pika Power, King Toad, man, see you later. I hate apples. Have a good day, man. Uh, let's see. Yorkie Inu, Cassie, Josh, Alice in Wonderland, Frodo, Julia, Gulia, Pringleton, and pull right lawns. Let's get started. Oh, yeah. Snake Fox, enjoy the rest of your afternoon, man. Make sure you guys come back in the 3 o'clock hour. I do want to say special thanks to Dwight, though, man. Very, very generous today. Absolutely appreciate you. In all of the super chats and super stickers you guys were given today. Peak of power, enjoy your afternoon. Clowny, enjoy it. Devil's Advocate, uh, AMC Trapper, man, if you're listening right now, you just can't type or whatever. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon uh, today as well. We've got, uh, I don't know if Stephanie and Lauren are both listening either. Nick F, if you're here, SD as well. Rich Man, Mitch, Snake Fox, see all of you guys. Now you guys know what time it is. So if you want to say it with me, say it with me. Until the next time, hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.